So I reckon we can get any evidence room if we get the magazine frame. So we've got to get 25 cents. <laughs> Station. Please excuse the mess. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. Sorry, Steve. I think he's, uh. He wouldn't like the magazines that Mr. Loomis is after. Okay. It's like he's farming from his barking chops. Sparky. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do! So, all the firemen are good cocksuckers. Hello, Steve! Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spot, honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. There you go, Spot. When he had that accent, I thought he was going to chop me up. Oh, Steve! Bet you don't remember me. Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. I wonder if this uh, big gay owl came out like, because Stan's dog's called Sparky, and he actually sounds a lot like big gay owl. Um, why are you sketching me, honey? Please. It's not the subject, it's the process. <laughs> Don't be I such a really party, have been oh. We're talking about art. Besides, we haven't had a fire in harvest since the newspaper building burned down. Though I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spot? I bet he fucks that dog. 100% he fucks that dog. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Oh please, Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up, and so was McKnight. If you could get into that safe in his wall... <sighs> Forget it. Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. So that's why Dwayne and McKnight have that bond. Now don't you go moving! Knight, the, the posted bloke. That's quite a lot. Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a pulsing fire hose or a fireman beating down a blazing door. So what if we're drawing a nude man? So what if all we ever draw is a nude man or the same nude man over and over in all sorts of provocative positions? Context, not content. Not that, not subject. Don't be so ghosty that's beneath you. Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further from the truth. Why, just the other day we cited Ted through a crumb for fire code violations. Huh. All the dried out paper wasp nests clustered around our wooden house. Why, it's a chem log just waiting for the right faggot. 
believe me. Oh, None of us wants to see another fiasco like the Sentinel Fire. Sentinel Fire? A dreadful... Oh, Paul. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Now don't you go... Bye-bye! I don't converse on the job, Steve. That's a long car crash. Let's go and ask about the fire here. Fucking hell. Three fire hydrants and the building still burnt down. What's left of the newspaper building after an extreme fire? That's it, so let's go give this uh let's go talk to Dickhead. But we'll save it just before we do. Under clip. Well that's gotta be double pay because of clip drop. Leave me alone, will ya? This is the good part. So... Good. Make permission slip. Oh, if I get that to sign it, yeah. Oh, so. Then what, Steve? I thought you'd have loved that. The only place I haven't been is the lodge, isn't it? Good. Let's go to the actual lodge. There was a way to get to it. There we go. Those fucking eyes. And eyes gleam with eerie malevolence from the darkness. Hey, maybe you'd like, um... Well, that didn't work. Yeah. I've told you what you oh, must geez. do until you've proven your. Okay. Alright, that's right. Initiates may enter the hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you say something? Fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you 
you are worthy. You will be put to the test. So let's figure out how to get this a fucking dickhead. She's still here. Sorry, son, no time to talk. Neither rain nor sleep nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed round. <laughs> I reckon I've already fucked up all the, the thingies. I thought it Next time you hard. post, don't forget the zip code. Let's do it on recently, we're going to do and go see what happens if I talk to mom and then see what funkiness goes on. Because there sure is some funkiness going on, anything in there. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or go next door and visit Stephanie or go get an early start on your new job. Hank, that kid over by the television? Your little brother is homesick from school today and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. Is he really sick? Look at the show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA Charity Bake Sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. Honestly, skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? I don't know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. Don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiancé was a gutter Oh, oh fuck yourself. What charity is this bake sales? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into a kind of a specific target group. You have to pay attention to detail. I don't know what you will. So it doesn't Tell me more about this bake money. As I told them. you, many unfortunates who come to harvest end up need Why is that the pan? It's not a problem. Don't forget to put the paper. Snow. Let's try and find a way into it. <laughs> there weren't nothing else in here, was there? Right, the dresser. Oh, here we go. Examine the quarter. Ah, straight away. So there we go. We've got one thing we can get on with. Thank you.